Oh my god, she's alive. Hi guys. It's been a minute. It's been more than a minute. It's been over six months. <laughs> Let me just start off by saying sorry. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I am alive, I'm doing well, I am thriving, I'm happy, and I am here to do some makeup. I did a poll on Instagram asking you guys if you would rather see me do a tutorial using the Be Perfect Stacey Marie Carmel palette, which is super popular, or the ABH Norvina collection palette, the, the Pro Pigment Palette Volume 1, and Carnival Palette won by a landslide. So I based a look off of that specific palette. I had a really great time doing it. It could be better, but I'm happy with how it turned out. If you guys are interested in watching me do my makeup and possibly learning how to do this makeup look, then please stay tuned. Alrighty, you guys. So as I said earlier, we are using the Be Perfect Cosmetics in collaboration with Stacey Marie, the Carnival Palette. Um, I put a poll on my Instagram and everybody wanted to see a look with this. So I've already primed my eye using the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 01. I have not done my brows yet. We will be doing that um, once we get to the face portion. So jumping right into it, I'm going to be using firstly the shade Rowdy. It's this deep warm chocolate brown color. I am just going to be loading up my MAC 219 pencil brush with this and we're just going to start mapping out the shape of our eyeshadow. So firstly just packing it on into this outer corner and then we're going to start creating that V shape. I don't usually have the camera this close so it's going to be very hard to keep it all in uh, focus so bear with me. So right now I'm just trying to stamp the color on. Don't worry if you get it on the lid because we're doing a cut crease today. So it will all get cleaned up eventually. I'm going to extend this V shape out a little bit more. Just a wee bit. Obviously it's not perfect by any means. I'm going to go back in with some more color just to deepen up that shade a bit more. You really want to start with your first shade. You want to get it as pigmented as you possibly can so that you don't have to keep going back in and reapplying it to get your depth. I mean, you're still going to have to keep going back regardless if you want a seamless blend, but I digress. So once you have your shape looking a little something like that, I'm not gonna pick up any more product. I'm just gonna take that same 219 brush and I'm just gonna start very, very lightly softening the edge of this brown color. stupid. Um, I literally just said that you should go in with your deepest color and then blend out from there, but um, this isn't our deepest color that we're going to be having on our eyes, and I forgot. So, before we go any further, I am going to dip into that same rowdy shade and then mix it with a little bit of a matte black from a different palette because the Carnival palette does not have a matte black in it. It's still going to be mostly that rowdy shade. I just want a deeper color in the very, very furthest outer corner just so there's lots of dimension. And just lightly buff around that black shade, blackish brown shade, so that it blends seamlessly in with Rowdy. Next, I'm going to be taking the shade Basic, kind of a neutral, kind of on the warm side, peachy brown. I'm going to be taking that on my Morphe M507, and I'm going to start going around the edge of Rowdy to blend it and buff it up. Take a little bit more and go on the underside of this edge. That is 
blending out a lot easier than the other side was. I don't know why, I was having a lot of issues with patchiness on my other eye. Don't really show why. back in with a little bit more of Rowdy, just to deepen it up a wee bit. Just right on this very outer corner. And then a little bit more basic, not much at all. Okay, nextly, I am, nextly, is that a word? Next. The next thing I'm going to do is take a Morphe M562 brush. This is a super uh, sparse kind of flimsy blending brush, but it surprisingly blends shadows out well. I'm not going to pick up any product with it. I'm just going to blend around the very outside edges of the shadow. I'm going back in with a little bit more basic because once we started to use that blending, that other blending brush, it kind of lost some of the warmth for me. So next we are going to cut the crease once you are happy with your crease shape and your crease blend. So I'm just putting a bit more of the P. Louise base on the back of my hand, taking that on a really stiff, flat brush, and we're going to be doing a half cut crease, stopping about where that shade on the lid goes to. Okay, and I hated every second of that. I'm going to be setting that base with this Foolish color. This color is stunning. It's like a peachy coral neon. It's like actually neon and it's absolutely stunning. Taking this on a Morphe S28 brush and we're just going to set that cut crease. This looks like Neapolitan ice cream. All right, now I'm gonna go back in with my MAC 219 pencil brush, and I'm just gonna kind of feather this line between the pink and the brown. All righty, now for the fun part. I am going to put the NYX glitter primer all over where this pink shade is, and then we are going to be packing the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop loose pigment in the shade The Ram. It is this stunning orangey, pinky, coral color, like a true coral, and it has gold reflex in it. My best friend got this for me for Christmas because she's obsessed with astrology, and I'm an Aries, and so. So I am just packing the glitter primer all over where we put that pink shade. Be really careful when you get to the crease because you don't want to put any where the brown is in your crease because then you're gonna have glitter up there and we don't want that and then I'm just gonna flip that brush over that we just applied that glue with and I'm gonna grab some of that pigment really smush it into the bristles and pack her on So once you have that all over your lid, I'm going back in with Rowdy on my MAC 219 brush and I'm going to now blend the, where this brown and the coral color meet. This will feather some of the glitter pigment over into the brown, so just be careful.
Okay, now we're gonna take it one step further and we are going to go in with the NYX Vivid Brights Liquid Eyeliner. It's in the shade Vivid Fire. It is not red at all, it's definitely fuchsia. This is gonna be going right where we put that cut crease, because why the hell not? This is gonna be really hard for me to get on camera. I, I apologize if it's out of focus, because it, let's be honest, it probably will be. So the next thing I'm going to do is curl my lashes, apply some mascara, and then we're going to put some black liquid liner on our upper lash line. For mascara, I have been using the Hank and Henry Slick With It Clout Mascara Duo. I don't really care for the thicker side for your top lashes as much as I do the other side because it's super duper thin and it's meant for your bottom lashes. And I can't tell you how convenient it is to have a mascara wand that tiny. So I'm making this a fairly thick line, but I'm not going to be winging it out. And while that's still wet, I'm just going to take the brush that has some of that blackish brown color on it and just kind of blend this into the shadow. Thing shadow wise is I am going to apply the Saint highlight to my brow line. Taking that on a Moda Pro BMX 466 shader brush. Okay, so I'm gonna go off camera really quick and I'm gonna apply the Dodo lashes in the style 325. I can't find them right now because I wore them to a party last weekend. So give me a second, I'm gonna find them, I'm gonna put them on. Um, and I'll be right back and then we'll move on to the face. Right, so I lied. Don't have lashes on yet because I don't, I don't want to put them on yet. <laughs> We're going to move on to the face. I'm still not using primer, although I think my mind might change soon because I've been watching a lot of Robert Welsh, I think is his name, and he's a professional makeup artist. He speaks a lot of truth and talks a lot about skincare and priming skin and prepping skin and guess what um, I don't do anything except wash my face and moisturize every day so maybe someday I'll find a primer that I actually like and that actually works for me but still for now I am not using primer I am however using this because it's hella expensive this is the juice beauty stem cellular I was about to say cellular Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Eye Treatment. Got this in my BoxyCharm. I'm gonna look up how much it is because I forgot, but it's kind of crazy. 80 bucks. This thing is 80 bucks for 15 milliliters. 0.5 fluid ounces. That's half a thing of foundation. I don't know if it actually does anything, but it's so expensive I'm using it because why would I waste it? So I use like seriously the tiniest amount ever. This is for one eye. Put that right below my eye, because it's never too soon to start anti-aging, I guess. I'm almost a quarter of a century old, and I don't know if I'm okay with that. Just kidding. I'm okay with it. Only because I get carded everywhere I go still. Everybody makes fun of me for it, but I'm going to be the one laughing when I'm 45 and getting carded still, and nobody else is. <laughs> so anyway, I just pat this in because your under eyes are your most sensitive area of your face. So you want to be very, very gentle with them and you don't want to cause wrinkles prematurely because nobody wants to look old. Unless you do then, that's your prerogative. Go for it. Anyway, so I let that kind of do its thing, marinate for a second if you will. I hate that I keep doing this. Stupid. I went back to my tried and true Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation golden beige. I heard from Tati Beauty that they came out with a luminous version, which I'm kind of interested to try. But for now, I'm using up this bottle. Oh, wait, is this my new one? Oh, I need to use my old one first. As per usual, it's 
slap her on, paint her on. No rhyme, no reason. Be careful when you're going around your uh, outer edges of your makeup or your eyeshadow. Because you don't want to ruin all that hard work you just put in to look like a Neapolitan ice cream cone, right? Now we buff her in. This may have been a hair too much. Oops. So yes, I am alive. I am alive and thriving, doing very well. I'm trying to think of what has happened in the last six months that I haven't seen you guys. And the only real, like, big thing I can think of is I got my motorcycle license. Well, firstly, I bought a motorcycle, and then I got my license. Probably should have done it the other way around. I didn't. So yeah, it's pretty cool to say that I am of 3% of the population, I learned, that rides a motorcycle. Probably even, well, obviously, even less of that is that I am part of the population that is a woman who is women, who are women, who are womanly. I'm part of the very small group that is women who ride motorcycles. And that feels pretty damn cool. I don't even know if I've ever talked about this on my channel before, but Jake started teaching me how to ride about a year ago, almost to the day. I think it was like early February or so. But he started teaching me how to ride out in the, there's a high school, like right over by where, where we live. Uh, really quick, the concealer I'm gonna be using is the Pretty Vulgar Concealer. It's called Undercover. Just Undercover Concealer. It's in the shade 60 Little White Lies. Three little dots under each side of my eye. I'm gonna buff this in. Concentrating it mostly in this inner corner. And then once I have it mostly blended, I'm going to start to buff it out this way and kind of clean up this line a little bit. And then if I feel like I need it to be a little bit more defined, I'll go back in with the brush that I have the P. Louise face on and just kind of carve out that underside a little bit more. And then go back in with my beauty blender and buff that out. But anyway, so, um, yeah, Jake started teaching me how to ride his motorcycle, which is a 1300, which is ridiculously heavy and has a lot of power, and I am this very small person who is not all that strong, no matter how much I like to think I am. He taught me how to ride his motorcycle, and eventually ended up buying my own. I named her Cherry. She is obviously red, she's beautiful, and everything I could have ever wanted. And I'm so happy that I started to, that I embarked on this journey. This is literally the only, like, semi-adrenaline inducing thing that I like to do. Literally. I'm a very, very safe person. I don't like roller coasters. I don't like, I would never bungee jump or skydive. That's all Jake's ballpark, not mine. <laughs> but it's a thing. And I'm super freaking proud of myself for learning. And I'm really glad that Jake and I have kind of found something that we both love to do because he and I are so vastly different that it's kind of hard to find common ground on a lot of things, like interests wise. So this is something that we both share in. And then also my dad just bought a motorcycle a little while ago. I actually took the class with him to get my motorcycle license. And that was a pretty cool experience. So now husband has a motorcycle, wife has a motorcycle, dad has a motorcycle, and my mom just rides on the back with him. So it's pretty freaking cool. I'm really happy. Moving on with the tutorial. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of powder. I'm using, as you guys, probably guessed because I've never used anything else. The Maybelline Fit Me Powder in Fair Light. Yes, I'm still going through this one, even six months later. And I'm just setting where that concealer is. I surprisingly really like this concealer and it's a um, medium coverage, kind of dewy-ish concealer. I wore it the other day without setting it, without, without like any setting powder whatsoever and it actually held up almost 
better than even when I set it. I wanted to set it today just because we're kind of going for a more full thing. Yeah. Now that that's done, I want to get brows on because they're driving me nuts and I'm sure that they're driving you guys nuts too. Also, I'm still, yes, still using my tried and true Anastasia dip brow pomade in soft brown. I am so overdue for a new one of these. I'm just gonna speed through this really quick. By far my least favorite part of my makeup routine. I don't know why. I'm gonna fill them in with the, or I'm gonna fill in the front with the NYX Microbial Pencil in Shade Espresso. I've like almost forgotten how to put makeup on for a camera. I'm so used to like, I fill it in a little bit and then I'm gonna use the spoolie sign and blend it all together. Oh, another thing I don't think I told you guys. Sorry, itchy nose. Jake started working. So Jake got a new job. He really loves it. But he and I are on completely opposite schedules now. He is working nights, which kind of sucks. But it also kind of works out. Um, so he's sleeping right now. And it's uh, like 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So basically, his work schedule now is working... 6 p.m. at night to 7 a.m. in the morning, give or take. So he sleeps literally all day until like 5.30, and then gets up and gets ready for work. And then I go to bed at like 6.30 because I get up at 2.30 in the morning to go to work. So it kind of sucks being on opposite schedules, but he only works three days out of the week. So at least he has four days off where he can kind of recoup, get back into like a normal human schedule. I did not think he was going to like this job at first. Like, I thought he would like the job. I didn't think he was going to like the schedule. But surprisingly, he actually really enjoys it. Just the only thing that sucks is we, like, don't see each other at all for three days straight. But then we have four other days that we get to see each other a bit more. We actually see each other more now than we used to. We used to only have every other Saturday off together, and now we have every Thursday, Saturday off together. So it's actually been really, really great for us. Okay, now I hope I'm not scaring you guys anymore. Next, we are going to bronze. I'm gonna use the NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Medium with my dirty ass brush because my brushes are always dirty, so don't judge me, because it's never gonna change. I'm trying to think of what else has happened in my life. I really don't know. I feel like I'm such a boring person. All I do is work and sleep and eat. I eat a lot. I do have a few more video ideas that hopefully will come out soon after this. As you guys know, I'm uber inconsistent on YouTube because I get super lazy and I don't want to do anything. But I've kind of been getting my creative juices flowing, getting back into the rhythm of being a creative ass bitch. I've been getting a lot of really cool palettes lately, so that's kind of like what's helped spark the creative creativity again. I was gonna say creativeness. What is English? Something else that's kind of weird. Um, I've been really into luminous blushes lately. So um, this one I got in one of my boxy charms. It is the Ciate London Marbled Light blush in the shade Dusk. It's so pretty. Look at it in all of its glory. So I'm going to take that on the Alamar Cosmetics Complexion Brush. It's this angled brush. And I'm going to load that up and pop that on my cheeks. I like to put my blush a little higher, like back toward my temples, because I think it's a more flattering on my face shape, rather than right on the apples of my cheeks. So I like to put it a little further back first, like kind of in line with that bronzer. And then whatever's left, I like to kind of trail onto the apples of my cheeks, just so there's at least some color there. 
And also, I kind of do like the trend of blush on the nose. I think it's cute and like dainty and everyone who does it just looks really cute. So for highlight, I have not been into super de duper de blinding highlights. I think unless the look or the occasion calls for it, then it's fine. But like, I, I don't know. I just haven't really been super into it. I just kind of like this subtle glow from within kind of thing. So I'm going to take my Morphe M510 brush and I'm going to take that same Saint shade that we put on our brow bones. Brow bones. <laughs> I guess that works. I don't know. It sounded weird. On our brow bone. And I am going to highlight with it. Just enough to give you a little show, but not so much that it's like... I'm gonna take that same shade on... Fuck, I'm getting a lot of snap chants, look at me. I'm gonna take that same shade on my Morphe M326 brush. I'm gonna pop it on the inner corner of my eyes and the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow. It's not really the look I was going for, so I'm putting a little bit of pink me over it. Because pink me is a little bit more... It's just a brighter, so it kind of shows up a bit better. And then just Saint on the tip of my nose and the cupid's bow. Oh, and like the top of the bridge of my nose too. Now we're gonna move back on over to the eyes. I have an idea. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit. I am going to take the NYX eye pencil in the shade white and I'm gonna line my waterline with this. Stay with me. Then, I hope this works, I'm going back over into the Carnival palette and I'm gonna take the shade Lit. It's not showing up so on camera, but it is neon orange. Like neon, crazy. So I'm gonna put that lit color on this Morphe M207 brush and pat that in my waterline over the white shade. If you have super sensitive eyes, don't do this. Cause it's gonna make your eyes water and it will hurt. I don't give a fuck. So I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Yes! Okay, we jump forward in time. This is the future. Sorry, my battery was gonna die and I needed to charge it. So I finished this eye and uh, we're gonna do this one now. So we left off on the white eyeliner with the lit shade in our waterline. Now, I'm gonna take Rowdy on a Morphe MB11 brush and I'm just going to smudge this on the lower lash line right up against that uh, right up against our waterline, but not in it. Okay, once you've placed that on there, I'm gonna take the Morphe M562, and then I'm gonna be buffing that out with that basic shade, which is the warm crease color we have, the lighter color. I'm gonna apply some blah, 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 mascara to the lower lashes. So this is the other side of that Hank and Henry clout mascara duo for the lower lashes. It's so stinking cute. And it is literally perfect for your lower lashes. My camera has died. My camera told me it was full twice. I'm done. <laughs> My camera has died on me once today. It has told me the card is full twice. It told me it was full while I was putting my lashes on and putting my mascara on, so here I am with a card that is not full with my lashes on. Sorry. As I said earlier, these are the Dodo lashes in the style D325. They are stunning. They are massive, fluttery, dramatic, everything I could personally ever want in a lash. So, eyes are done, face is done. Last thing is lips. I know one. Oh, I can hear this. What a dilemma.
plasma. Let's try. This seems light enough. Okay. Oh my god, my camera's gonna die again. Are you fucking kidding me? Pardon my language. Oh my god. <gasps> okay. I'm using the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the shade Truffle. I'm gonna outline, overline the shit out of my lips because I always do. Let's do this quick. And the very last thing that I'm going to do is set my face using the iconic London Prep Set Glow Mist Original. Everybody, ooh, ah, so freaking pretty. Alrighty, you guys, so that is it for this video. My first video back in over six months. Again, I am very sorry that I have been so MIA but I'm not gonna say that it's not gonna happen again. I just don't want to get your hopes up. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a very fun time catching up with my camera, AKA all of you, and giving you guys a little life update, even though I'm sure a lot more has happened in my life aside from learning to ride a motorcycle, but that seems to be the most prominent and most exciting, so that's all I can think of at the moment. But I hope you guys liked this look and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you left a like or a comment, and especially if you subscribed, I would absolutely love to have you. So that does it for this one. I will see you in my next one. Hopefully it'll be in the near future. <laughs> Bye guys. Mwah.